Once upon a time in ancient Greece, there lived a man whose name you probably know from school Pythagoras. Yes, the guy from the Pythagorean theorem. But here's the secret. Pythagoras wasn't just about triangles. His real story is far stranger, filled with mystery, secret societies, and even whispers of cult-like rules. Pythagoras was born around 570 BC on the island of Samos. From a young age, he wasn't satisfied with ordinary answers. He traveled widely to Egypt, Babylon, and maybe even India studying math, music, and religion. By the time he returned to Greece, he was seen not just as a thinker, but almost as a holy man. And here's where things get wild. Pythagoras didn't just teach math, he founded a secret brotherhood. Imagine a mix between a school, a monastery, and a cult. His followers, called the Pythagoreans, lived under strict rules. They shared everything in common, ate simple diets, and followed a strange list of do's and don'ts. For example, never eat beans. Yes, beans were forbidden, why? No one's quite sure some say it was for health, others for mystical reasons. But behind these odd rules was a serious purpose. Pythagoras believed numbers were the key to the universe. To him, reality itself was made of numbers and ratios. He taught that music, planets, and even the human soul followed hidden mathematical patterns. His idea of the harmony of the spheres imagined the cosmos as a kind of grand symphony where planets moved like notes in a song. This wasn't just mathematics, it was mysticism. To the Pythagoreans, math wasn't about solving problems on paper. It was a way to understand the divine order of reality. That's why they treated numbers almost like sacred beings. But secret societies often attract suspicion. The Brotherhood was accused of being too exclusive and too powerful. Over time, political enemies rose up against them. Their meeting houses were attacked. Their communities scattered. Some say Pythagoras himself died in one of these uprisings. Others say he escaped into exile. His ending is as mysterious as his life. Yet, his influence didn't vanish. The Pythagoreans carried his ideas forward. And centuries later, his belief in mathematics as the foundation of reality shaped Plato, influenced science, and echoes even today in physics and philosophy. So next time you hear the name Pythagoras, remember he wasn't just the man of triangles, he was a philosopher, a mystic, and the founder of one of history's strangest secrets.